السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Today's women need a strong role model that will teach us that no matter what situation you are in, you can make a difference without having to compromise on your dignity and faith. In an environment which constantly emphasizes the physical form through various media, women are constantly faced with an unattainable level of beauty. Celebrities have become idolized. What values do they represent? What principles do they stand for? And what positive difference or contributions are they making to our society today? Today's Muslim women are falsely classified by the West as oppressed based on their modest dress. They are in fact liberated from such objectification by the society around them. This modest appearance highlights a woman's personality and character instead of her physical figure and promotes a deeper appreciation for who she is as a person and focuses on her self-worth. Let's imagine an intelligent woman, respected and generous, a successful businesswoman involved in charity work, has strong faith, a great wife and mother. What comes to your mind? An image of a 21st century corporate have it all type? But in fact, the woman I described was a prominent Islamic figure who lived around 1400 years ago. I believe she was, is and will always be a role model to all women, respected and admired by billions. It is Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. Regarding this amazing lady, her husband, our beloved Prophet, Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him, said, The best of the world's women is Hazrat Maryam, may Allah be pleased with her, in her lifetime. And the best of the world's women is Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, in her lifetime. This narration is found in Sahih Bukhari number 3432. Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, was the first woman of Islam. She is the first mother of the believers. Both passionate and committed, she was no ordinary woman. She was widowed from one marriage and then divorced from a second marriage. Third marriage was to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. She was devoted to her children while simultaneously managing her business empire. She was a pleasing wife to her husband. So women must follow her example and strive to please their husbands according to the teachings of Islam. This does not reduce your rank in any way. If this was true, then Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, would not have been so great. She was a very successful and hard-working businesswoman of her time, who exported her goods to far away markets like Syria. She took charge of the family business, which thrived. This clearly shows the permissibility of women working. It is good as long as the income is lawful, spent on lawful and does not prevent a woman fulfilling her other duties. So women should not just sit at home, they should fulfill their potential through studying and get good jobs with the, with the intention they are following the footsteps of Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. She gave a great deal of charity, assisting the poor, sick, disabled, widows and orphans. Being charitable is a fundamental quality of a successful Muslim. There is nothing wrong with women spending money on new clothes, shoes, etc. But they should avoid extravagance and waste. And always put some money aside to donate in charity beyond the obligatory following the way of the righteous predecessors. Charity does not need to be a great amount. Each should give according to what they possess. Allah, the exalted, observes quality, not quantity. Impressed by the Holy Prophet's noble character, Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, believed she would find no better match for herself. Every woman should adopt such knowledge and confidence. Never be too shy in making the right choice. As long as one follows the teachings of Islam and consults the wise, make choices. Islam does not teach women to close their mouths and blindly follow others. Women have the right to speak, make choices and offer advice. Men should take note that even the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, consulted his wife, Hazrat Umm Salma, may Allah be pleased with her, and took her advice during the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. The whole incident is narrated in Sahih Bukhari, numbers 2731 and 2732. I shall stop here, as inshallah, in my next podcast, I will finish discussing about the blessed life of Hazrat Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. Jazakallah here for listening.